Yo, what's up? This is A1 Wolf. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Movies with A1 Wolf. Ow. So today's movie I'm reviewing Angel Has Fallen. If you know what Angel Has Fallen is, it's basically a Jared Butler movie, action movie. That's the third one, third installment of three. Uh, the first one was Olympus Has Fallen, second one was London Has Fallen, and now we are on the third one, Angel Has Fallen. Uh, Angel Has Fallen, Angel I think is the code name for his character. Yeah, this movie is exactly what you expect it to be. So let's go straight into reasons to watch it. If you love movies like The Fugitive, US Marshals, Hunted, that vein of movies, it's very down that line. It is it is a decent movie. It follows very well. I'll put clips of what my girlfriend thought. Okay, so I appreciated that it was a easy to follow storyline. She loved it. Take it from that, you have an idea that people love a movie like this in terms of being able to follow and be able to enjoy the action. Traditional, very traditional. So if you are a fan of The Fugitive or US Marshals, this will be easy for you to watch. This is uh, very much down that vein and also but has a bit of that old school action movie feel. Yeah, so those are the reasons to watch it is yeah it's predictable it's very predictable especially if you're a person who watched those types of movies it doesn't have the same amount of depth that those movies have uh u.s marshals in particular and the fugitive in particular uh, so in those movies there's a lot more drama a lot more depth uh they're not just strictly uh action just action-packed this is more leaning towards action and is very predictable. So it borrows the storyline from that and gives you more action. So if you're more into action, if you like the action part of those movies, yeah, you'll get that. You get a lot more of that. Um, but if you like the whole story and the whole little bit of twist, or whatever, you're not gonna get that from this movie because you will predict everything and you'll know exactly what's happening in the first 10 minutes. I figured out exactly what's gonna happen in the whole movie in the first 10 minutes. With that said, it's still watchable, still enjoyable, and I think uh, people should watch it. Entertainment value, I give it a seven. Yeah, a seven out of 10. I'm very generous, by the way, when it comes to these things. Um, but yeah, seven is definitely watchable, gives you entertaining, uh, not the best movie, uh, not the best action movie, it doesn't go full on with action. Uh, it does get a bit boring at some parts and a bit slow, but still entertaining as a movie to watch and kill the time. When we were in the cinema, we had a guy who was pulling on. I think he was saying, yes, yes. Yes, yes. He said that like, literally, I, I think I did a counter. I lost track after like 15. Like he said it like 15 times. So clearly it was entertaining for him. So watch it. 